beautiful day. That's not beautiful. But we're in shorts. Not very many clouds in the sky. Oh, guys, I'm back. <clears throat> I uh, took Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for a bachelor party. And uh, uh, needless to say, um, uh, yesterday I really didn't feel like videoing anything. I never really didn't do anything like special. I just delivered three, um, three cars for one customer. And uh, deadheaded home because I like playing catch up so I have a massive amount of just random cars so if I'm trying to constantly fill the trailer all the time like right now when I get behind then I'm just getting myself more and more behind if that makes sense and these are all my regular customers so I have to take care of them to keep them so sometimes you got to do that but uh just hit a hundred thousand miles on the ram so bye bye warranty uh we're at loves now gonna get fuel and uh we're headed to Mannheim still feeling a little under the weather like allergies are just kicking my butt here recently and uh so if I sound stuffy that's what it is so I'll talk to you guys soon well, it looks like it's Tesla day picking up one Tesla <clears throat> this goes with me to Ohio doesn't need to be enclosed so we're gonna put it in the open on the open trailer out of here and then it's gonna be I'm gonna put it in my single car enclosed because I have to go out to Ohio and pick up a um, wide body Hellcat so yeah, that's like a quick trip that's just a there and back it's not like really planned it's just helping somebody out I I don't really know them. I know where they're from, but um, should be a good connection. All right, so what kind of ignorant stuff is this? This is my trailer. I don't know whose car this is. There's no key in it. Right behind me. Like, what is this? It's not a parking spot. If this park with some cars, you can't park here. There's nobody parked Because there maybe there. someone take the car and make a line. Okay, all that was here was these two cars. Yes, two so cars. So listen, I figured they could back out if I pulled in right there. So first one, it's not mine. Second one, and I plan to put this car. Okay, cars. all right. Do you think I knew that wasn't yours? Which one? The one that was, I thought they were parked together. All right? So I thought, <laughs> okay, listen, just let me out. I got shit to do, you got shit to do. You don't have to be like that. Just let me out. I say sorry and just let me out. Is this one yours right here? That Forester? This one and this one. Okay, so not, I not this one. Then I thought this, that this and this Okay. And this. Then listen, I thought these two were somebody, so I park here because they can back out. Yeah, I've been in the business a while, man. Do. I've been business a while there's no reason to argue about shit like this it's a fucking parking lot you come on it's parking lot yes but you black someone cars because i thought that these two it doesn't matter you park on the for the open spot that's it okay all right then move your car so i can get out of here I got the Tesla. We got a RAV4. What the? What are these? What are those? All right, so before I unload and tell you guys what I'm doing, let me tell you guys a story. I'm trying to get out of that sun. There we go. Let me tell you guys a story of what happened in the parking lot. 
So as you guys saw that, that guy had me blocked in, and I was like, it's kind of rude, you know, I don't understand. Well, at one point, he walks up, and he goes, you like that? And I said, what are you talking about? Like what? I said, the fact that you got me blocked in, not really. He goes, well, you took my parking spot. I said, I didn't see your name on it, and there was two cars parked up in front of me that were pooled cars sitting in the parking lot of Mannheim. They were parked together back to back, so I figured that they were together. So one could, you could move one and get the other one out. So I pulled him to the spot. He goes, nah, you're in my spot. It's like, all right, whatever. It's like, what did he say after they said, said something, then he just walked away. Just like took off walking. I'm like, hello, like you gotta move your truck. Or I mean, you gotta move your cars. Like I'm not waiting around all day for you to, you know, just be a jackass. So. I like, he walks away, I walk up to the other car, I'm like, I want to see if the key's in it, you know, just get it out of the way, whatever. Because I could have went, like, up and to the left and got around. All I needed to do was move one car and I was out of there. I was like, not arguing with this guy in the parking lot. So, I finally find him, he comes back, and I have some audio, I don't know how good it is, because I let my phone video run in my pocket while we were arguing, and uh, so if you hear any of that, that's that's what happened. Here's a fun fact for you. A Tesla Model S is wider than a wide body Hellcat. This is 77.6 inches and a Hellcat is 76. So that gives away what we're picking up, but she fits in there nice. My dad really did a good job in refurbing this trailer. I'll show you. Floors are painted. New winch. If you can remember, the old winch was over there. You see the holes? Put a new winch here so you can pull straight in. Painted the walls. We've used it since, but this didn't have to be enclosed, but I need this trailer out in Ohio. And yeah. Looks good. I'll take it. Dang, son. Look at those. Oof. Well, little change of plans. Plans were to take this on its maiden voyage. I know I said I wasn't going to use it for work, but... Oh, stuff happens, so... I'll explain that just out here getting us ready to go thankfully dad uh keeps a mighty clean truck and I'll explain what was going on with that thing all right so the plan was to take the ram I know uh you know initially I said that it was just going to be a personal truck uh a you know, not a company truck at all, but start thinking about things, having that truck, drop the Chevy off the commercial insurance, put that truck on the commercial insurance, put the Chevy back on my personal insurance that I have to State Farm, like for my wife's car, my Jetta, and then, yeah, that's it. So I was going to do that and, uh, it's going to kind of put the Dodge to its paces, see how I liked it, and, you know, get some use out of it. Run this single car when I need to so I don't have to unhook the, uh, you know, the big trailer from the 3500 Dodge. Keep a little miles off of that, kind of split some miles, and, you know, that the truck's only got 90,000 miles on it. So I figure, you know, what the hell? Why not? Well, just got it. What was it? week two weeks ago and i'm starting to have issues with it it's got a warranty uh so i'm not really worried about it uh but it has a you guessed it an overheating issue same thing i'm dealing with on the chevy and it's now happening on this truck so got the truck i noticed that it had a um new radiator in it when i test drove the truck it ran flawless um we drove, me and my wife drove it up and down the road. Um, I crawled underneath of it, did some, you know, looking underneath, leaks, smells, you know, checking just 
anything and everything I could and it checked out flawless. So I, when I come back to purchase it, it had to go to the shop because the sending unit wasn't working. The fuel gauge didn't work. So they got that replaced and while it was there, they told him, he told the you know, tech just go over it, make sure everything, all fluids, everything are good and everything's topped up. Well, they noticed that the coolant was low. It's got a new radiator in it. So the coolant being low, you know, maybe it never just got enough in it and you know, whatever. So I drive it home and I have an issue with it. So it's, you know, uh, it acts like it has air in, well, it has air in the system, air in the cooling system, pressure in the cooling system. Temperature gauge will spike high, like trucks overheating and then come right back down. That's something in my eye. So I didn't think anything of it, uh, that it was just probably had air in the system and that truck is, uh, EGR deleted the coolers off of it. So they're known to be tough to get air out of. Well, I'm still having issues with it, so it's gonna go to the shop and figure out that, but I'm glad I figured this out before I'm halfway through a trip with it. So, looks like we're slapping magnets on this truck and we're gonna run it um, just for this trip. I already had cars on the trailer and just kind of things. I needed to get my wheels home and get them in the garage. So dad just said, just take my truck because I put two in the trailer. I couldn't fit them all in the trailer and I had to put two in the bed. Would have brought the Dodge up. I uh, would have had to try to slap them on the back of the deck plate and strap them down somehow, but that seems a little sketchy. So that's what's going on. We'll stay tuned and see what happens, but um, it's already shaping up to be one of those weeks dealing with that idiot today at Mannheim and then uh, just, you know, having truck issues, but stuff happens i don't fault the guy that sold it to me the shop that sold it to me we're still friends it's just things happen that's why he sells trucks with a warranty because you could drive off the lot and 10 miles down the road transmission go out after somebody drove it for you know 100 200 miles at the shop and 10 miles down the road something like that could happen so things happen that is what it is and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow